What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectibles. Coming at you today with our weekly toy hunt. And it is a nasty and rainy day out, but hey, what, what else can you do? You got to get out and toy hunt. You got to find the things. So we're going to start off at a Target over here in Huntersville. Got some good feedback last week. We did a little bit of a shorter toy hunt instead of doing like the big 50, 60 minute long toy hunt. Last week we did like a 20 minute toy hunt. Got a lot of good feedback from that. So we may uh, continue to throw in some of the shorter toy hunts. Uh, and, you know, every now and then we'll have kind of a longer toy hunt. A lot of times it, it depends on whether I hit up a toy shop. Toy shops take a little longer. We can spend 15, 20 minutes of the video just in a toy shop. So, um, you know, if it's just sitting up big box retailers, we'll hit up two or three and kind of have some shorter videos to throw in with some longer toy hunts as well. So I appreciate your guys' feedback on that and continue to provide that feedback to me, to the channel, as I'm uh, always kind of, you know, changing up the recipe per se, uh, you know, on what we do around here. So appreciate that we got our 6,000 sub giveaway will be coming up here pretty soon so if you're not familiar with that we've got a major blood and we'll throw in some other stuff that we'll be giving away to one lucky winner uh, you do have to be you know following my Instagram page we do all of our giveaways on Instagram it's just easier to do it that way so if you don't have an Instagram go get you one go over to man cave collectible review and give me a follow I put a lot of pictures of my collection my comic book collection different things like that kind of over on Instagram when I find things out and about a lot of times I post a picture of them and throw them up on Instagram and you know it can let you know where it's at if you're a local collector uh, so that can kind of help you out but anyways we're headed over to Target that's where we're going to start out as far as kind of what we're hunting there's not a ton out I know the Revelation stuff has started hitting so we found the Skelly God last week I wasn't really interested in that one but I am interested in the Battle Cat the He-Man the Skeletor uh, maybe Evil Lynn not 100% sure if I'm going to go that deep or if I'm just going to kind of get the two mains uh, and their cats so we'll, we'll kind of see you know where the road leads on that but anyways, let's go ahead and get started in our first target, and uh, then we'll go from there. All right, guys, here we are in the toy section here at Target. We got some, we got some uh, Shang-Chi, Iron Man. Some MODOK. Got some Power Ranger two packs. Got the monster still hanging around down here. Let's fix them. There is the Megatron jacked up. Look at that. Good lord. Need a discount. Ultra Magnus. Got some Cobra. of a McFarlane. That's a McFarlane. Yeah, I ain't seen these in forever. Superman got a restock. It's crazy. If that's back out there. Wow. Ooh, so good. All right, guys, check out what we got on the end cap down here. We got the Masterverse cat, $40. We'll go ahead and take that. We got Battle Cat, got some two packs out here. Looks like they made kind of a He-Man end cap, which is new. That's not something they've normally done. And then coming on down, let's see what we got. Jurassic World, Jurassic Park down here. Pterodons, Velociraptors, more of the Masters here. Two packs are just everywhere. I had a buddy send me a picture the other day of like five of the two packs in one spot. Not a lot of Star Wars. Need to get some restocks done on some Star Wars and then wrestling. Tony Storm in red, Tony Storm in black. I wonder if one's like the chase, I guess. A bunch of Chinas. Tatanka. Tucker. What do we got here? A bunch of John Cena. All right. 
All right, back here behind us, we got look at all the video camera stuff over here. All right, got some Toonie Terrors over here. The Grady Twins, that might be one I haven't really seen. Exorcist or Reagan from The Exorcist. Ghostface up there. Those are kind of cool looking, but. Got Annabelle and a bunch of Back to the Futures. Some Halloween, Bob Ross. Oh, two pack. It's crazy about it, those just keep popping up randomly. Coming on down. Got some Dragon Ball. Here. Super Saiyan Vegito. The One Piece figures look pretty cool too. There's the Doom. I mean, a Warhammer. I mean, painted, unpainted. Bunch of the spawn, Mandarin spawns. Those are both $19.99. Oh, look at there. Wonder Woman. Got a couple of those, Batman. Got some Marvel socks. And all the Super 7 stuff. It's like it's mostly the monsters. Stand the man right there. All right, let's head to the next one. All right, guys, so that was Target. Uh, great find in the Battle Cat. I think that guy looks amazing. We'll be obviously we'll be doing a review on the channel at some point for that for that find, uh, and we'll take a little bit closer look at him in the haul portion of this video at the end. So hang around for that when we get back to the man cave. We'll kind of look that over. We're now here at a Walmart uh, over here in Charlotte, so we're going to run in Walmart, see what they got on the shelves this morning, and then we're going to hit up another Target and uh, go from there. All right, guys, here we are in the toy section. We got a Carnotaurus Toro there looking pretty good. And uh, we got the Velociraptors. These look really nice. I think these are kind of like the, I guess these are the ones from like the original movie, maybe. I always saw, thought they looked pretty good. This guy's all jacked up. Got some try. Sinoceratops. G.I. Joe Fang, lots of them down there. We've got a Cobra Commander there, not the one I'm wanting. Some restocks of the Godzilla and Kong stuff. Some of the 375 inch Avenger stuff. Retro Ghostbusters there. As those retro Ghostbusters hang around on the pegs, I hope they don't. Uh, I hope that's not a sign of like where the line's headed, you know. Because I really like that line. I'd like to get at least some more Ghost. We got a Zutton 3.75 inch and that 6 inch Black Series Luke Skywalker. Very little uh, Star Wars though. Lots of Grogu, which I kind of feel like the hype on him has passed a little bit. Let me draw on there. That deep cover and all the red figures that we've been seeing for a while. Megatron. So they got all the wave one and some of the wave two, it looks like there. Headmasters. A couple dino bots in there. There's a warpath, that's a good one. You don't see him a, a whole lot. It's a big figure. Headmasters we've been seeing and then Halo figures. Fortnite. Hero. Some Battle Cat. Still no Flock Panther. I've never, never seen one. We've seen a box for one that had a swap out last week, but I haven't seen the. Uh, what do you guys think of these? The Mega Constructs. I think they're kind of cool looking. Looks like all they got is just the He Man Beast Man two packs. And the wave one hanging around here. 
got a Tila, which has been there for a while. We've been seeing that for a while. And then a Becky Lynch from the... I'm so close to wanting to get this guy right here. I just think he would look, he'll look so good with like the new um, spawn line that's coming out. Like he would just fit right in. Coming on down. Some of the five inch My Heroes. More Becky Lynch, which I don't think I want her. I'm kind of sticking to like the, uh, the older guys. Seamus, those are basic figures. We got a uh, Elite here. Angel, a bunch of basics here. And then the two packs. So just Kane and Edge, two pack. All right, let's head back to the NECA section. All right, here we are on our end cap down here. We got our uh, X-Men animated uh, little bust here. So we got Wolvie unmasked. And we got Wolvie masked. And Magneto. The little museum versions here. We got Spider-Man. Still looking for that Deadpool. I think I'd like to have the Deadpool if I ever see him again. That's a really good statue, which I've uh, done on the channel. Here, Let's see what all we got in the neck section. Got a super shredder over here hanging around. Haven't seen that in a while. That's the uh, Shadow Master version. I'll oh, check that out. There's something else we've seen a long time ago, but it's been a while since we've seen that. The Arkham, that was what a great video game that was. Luke Kang and Shao Khan seen those before. Still waiting on the turtles and uh, and this BST stuff. So if any of you guys are starting to see those out and about, let me know. I'm definitely looking for those. I'd like to have those and add them to the turtle collection. The Negos and Frankenstein. Lots of Q-Figs. The Q-Figs don't seem to do very well. I, uh, I grabbed a few and reviewed them on the channel. They didn't, didn't do very well for the review either. Pops. Well, does a good job on Pops. Went down here. And what we got down here, let's see. More Q figs, it looks like. Right, cool, let's head to the next one. Target and Walmart out of the way. Now we're at another Target. We want to run in and see what they got. Obviously, we were lucky yesterday. Found the Battle Cat at the other Target. We'll see if this Target has it. Not sure how, you know, kind of ready and, and available those are. Uh, so, you know, we'll kind of have to, you know, see what see what's in there. I guess the He-Man and Skeletor maybe aren't hitting yet. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll just see what they got on the shelves. Uh, beard update for you guys. You can see my beard here. I did put a little bit of beard oil in it today. But you can see where I've been wearing my mask. It still kind of has the curl underneath it. I had a buddy who gave me a really cool mask that uh, kind of pulls up and it kind of protects the beard. Forgot to forgot to take it to work with me, so end up having to having to use the old style mask, which kind of jacks the beard up. But I do like wearing the beard oil. It does kind of kind of a little bit kind of keep it from being so poofy. So there's a little update on the beard. It doesn't look quite as stupid down here anymore. We did fix it from where I decided to try to cut the goatee and leave the rest. So uh, that's a that's a story. If you missed that one, good. Uh, if you didn't, you can go back and check uh, one of my past toy hunts. We told that story. But anyways, let's get on in this target. Let's see what they got on the shelves. All right, guys, we'll start off in the wrestling section here. Kind of similar to what we saw in Walmart. We got the cane two pack. Got some Cena. Whoa. Let's clean up our mess. Got some Drew McIntyre. I was kind of sitting around. That Ray Ripley looks pretty good though. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. And coming on down. Lots of Grogu. Kinda I don't understand all the Grogu popping back up. Especially being like we're not really in a series. Tons of sky sleds. I remember when we couldn't even find one of those. Lots of Panthors, but those obviously are the plastic ones as the uh, locked is a Walmart exclusive. Lots of wave one. What's the Skeletor looks like? Yeah. Got the Minion 
and stuff. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, that'd be super colossal, Dominus, and then we do have the uh, pretty cool there. Is that new? The Mosasaurus Ocean Protector. He's pretty big, but uh, probably would need to really be bigger based on this guy size right here. Cause he didn't he eat him in like so this two pack here is pretty cool that's one i've kind of considered picking up to add in because i want the people i want the 3.75 inch people the uh was it bumpy and i can't remember the other the little kid's name but me and my daughters watched all the camp cretaceous stuff together Fortnite stuff, which we kind of buzz through. Video game stuff. Sonic and Mario. Bowser's Castle Place, that's pretty cool. What is the Gas House Gang, guys? Is that a like a, a show for kids or I see those and they, they kind of remind me of like mad balls and stuff like that. Alright. Bakugan. Check this out. Hey, we got a uh, red skull looking good there. It's a pretty cool looking figure actually. I didn't think I wanted it, but man, after looking at it, I'm like that's that's a potential. Put on my Avenger shelf. Lots of these Shang Chi just hanging out. Some Marvel stuff. Got the uh, monsters hanging around. A two pack. Some of the Ghostbusters plasma series here. Looks like just Ray and Bankman. Couple RCs hanging out. Kingdom. Got some uh, multiverse in here. There's the Todd McFarlane design, Batman, the Nightwing from Death and the Family. Lots of those and then Jokers hanging around. Nothing real new going on here with this. Let's head on over to the NECA section. All right, NECA section, here we are. Got the Witcher, some Warhammer. Peter Vakeman in the wrong spot. Lots of Stan Lees, my gosh, look at that. All these are all these are Stan Lees. A bit of Super 7 action over here. Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw. Got some young Frankenstein. Whew, that's creepy. We got some of the Power Rangers reaction up there. The world's smallest. Look how little that is. Little Bumblebee. A new spawn in there, which we've already seen. And then coming on down. Look at that, more turtles. Well, not turtles, these are the frogs, but up here where folks can see it. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Haven't seen those in a while, I think. All these are Ted. And, uh, just our regular horror stuff. I did see last night where this Kong is going to be available pretty much anywhere out there on BBTS for a pre order. I put up a link on my channel. You go check him out. And Bob Ross down here. Alright, so that looks like it for that. So we got another target out of the way, and you know, this goes back to kind of what I've been saying. 
for a little while and that's that there just ain't a lot out there right now there is a lull it is a lull in kind of the toy hunt community right now the revelation stuff that's really about the only thing out there to hunt luckily we found the one thing that's kind of out there right now that we're wanting there's only one on the shelf uh so you know that's two targets we went to we only found one out of the two targets get out they're out there i see other folks finding them here and there so they're definitely available um, but as far as outside of the revelation stuff just what is there let me know drop in the comments down below what are you guys hunting out there right now um, are you kind of like me where it's just like we can go out we kind of see what's out there but there's just not that much stuff going on as far as the shelves and the pegs are concerned so we're gonna hit up a best buy we don't hit up a best buy normally but just kind of for the sake of uh the toy hunt game right now we're just gonna see what best buy has why not right let's try it let's see what's on the shelves i gotta go by there and pick up an xbox series s controller anyways uh we did pick one of those up here recently so we'll go pick that up i had ordered it and need to grab it so why not hunt the toy section while we're there uh, but anyways let's run on in best buy all right guys best buy check this out there's one we hadn't seen a whole lot of gorilla garage man he looks good big too heavy you need to kind of feel the heaviness of the box got some jacosta black top got some aoa wave hanging around there's a 50th droid and jar jar one more aoa fortnite as we come on over Spark Gunner, some Freddy. Right there. There's some Jason, some Ghostface. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Wonder Woman up there. It's kind of funny how Best Buy just has like just a weird container damage. Product verified is good. So does, it, does that mean it's on sale? Or does that mean to turn it over? Never seen that little sticker. Got a Civil War hanging around. Best Buy just has like a weird mix of stuff. <laughs> it's just all over the place. Come down here, we got some It, Predator, Back to the Future, Sam from Trick or Treat. spot here some of the four little four pack 3.75 inch figures some my hero and Halloween 2 looks like it's it for best buy so we're back in the man cave guys that is the end of our toy hunt this week you know we found something really cool we found this guy we found the revelation battle cap from the new masters universe netflix cartoon let's see if we can get some kind of up close here sorry for the glare just trying to get getting some lighting in the man cave here but uh yeah i mean you know it, it looks like it kind of suffers from some of the same things like maybe the other battle cat did from the origins line where you know it's kind of spotty paint on like the stripes on them uh, but we're going to get him out of here we're going to do a review on him and just kind of see uh you know what we got here is the back of the box which looks phenomenal i think the back of the box looks better than the front of the box but you can see you can turn him into cringer if you want to i think it's you know a pretty good cringer if you ask me so if you had you know like a you know the classics collection and you just needed a cringer you didn't necessarily need a battle cat i still think the classics collection battle cat which i have up there is probably the best battle cat that's ever been made so that was our find we just found the one thing i don't know if you guys saw the shirt man but look at this shirt i mean let me just show this shirt off right here you see that man is that not one of the most dope shirts you have ever seen in your life 
So I'm actually working on having a custom done by, uh, I think it's uh, I am 978 Customs. We, I know him better, like his pounds. I've been following this guy forever. And I reached out to him actually on Instagram and uh, said, hey man, would you be interested in doing a custom uh, Venom? So I'm wanting like this version of Venom right here, like what's on my shirt. And uh, he, he, really cool guy. He was like, yeah, tell me what you want. Tell me what you're thinking about. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking the Build-A-Figure, it's actually the Deluxe, but it originally came out as a Build-A-Figure Venom. Taking him, sending this guy over to Pounds, and he's going to turn this into like this style Venom for me right here. So I am super, super pumped about that. I've got to actually get him in the mail today. I also bought a custom head for this guy. I've got two of these. So I bought a custom head for this guy uh, from Paul's Customs on Instagram. This, this custom head, I can't wait to show it off to you guys. It looks friggin' amazing. And this is actually, this may be my favorite Venom figure that they've ever put out so far. Now, I really like the new Venom figure that they announced yesterday. It's kind of that retro style, retro carded Venom. I like the buck and everything that they put him on. So that that's going to be a cool one as well. But I just think this Venom is going to look so cool in these colors right here. You know, I'll update you guys when we get back, uh, when I get this guy back. I don't know how long it takes him to do that kind of stuff. Obviously, when you're a guy like him, I'm sure he's very busy. So we're not going to put a whole lot of expectations on time and turn around that'll all be up to him you know just let the guy do what he does and whatever it takes it takes so it's gonna be really cool uh, to get that back so we'll update you guys when that comes back but anyways we're kind of getting off topic here this is a toy hunt so i hope you guys enjoyed it today again it was just kind of one of my shorter toy hunts we had four stops one of them was a best buy uh, which is kind of cool to see best buy we don't hunt best buy a lot but it's cool to always go in there and just kind of see what they have on the shelves so if you did enjoy it, hit that like button for me it helps the video get out there for other people to be able to see if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing to the channel as we said earlier we got a 6,000 subscriber giveaway coming up so that's something you can be on the lookout for you do need to have instagram for that Go over to Instagram, follow Man Cave Collectible Reviews. And as always, drop those comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. What are y'all hunting for right now? What is out there that you're really wanting that you want to add to your collection? For me, as I said earlier, it was kind of the the, the Battle Cat Revelation figure. That was the one thing that I'm really wanting. Um, I do I do still need like an Origin Clamp Champ. That I think it's like the Deluxe Carter version. I haven't found him yet. So that's something we would pick up if we ever did. But what are you guys hunting for? And again, let me know. I got some good feedback last hunt video. Let me know what you guys think of these slightly shorter hunt videos. I think this one, I don't know what this one will end up being. I'm guessing it'll probably be somewhere around 30 minutes because we did four stores. But, you know, normally I'm in the 50 to 60 minute range. What do you guys think of the shorter hunt videos? Does that fit better into your guys' schedule as far as being able to watch the video and not have to fit almost an hour into it? We'll still throw in longer hunt videos. Obviously, when we go to toy shops and stuff, it's going to extend it. But when we're just hitting up a couple big box retailers, it might be easer for you guys to hit up a, you know, 20 minute video a 25 minute video but yeah continue to leave that feedback for me because i'm wanting to evolve the channel it's ever evolving and uh, obviously i want to give you guys what you're really wanting as far as uh, toy hunt videos are concerned so leave those comments down below i really appreciate you guys i hope everybody has a really really fun and safe july 4th weekend until next time